Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your Google Shopping campaigns. When set up and optimized properly, Google Shopping campaigns can generate thousands of dollars in sales and profits for your e-commerce store. My team and I do this every single day for dozens of e-commerce stores. I'm going to walk you through our exact process for creating these Google Shopping campaigns in your Google Ads account. Now to do this, you do need to already have your Google Merchant Center Next account set up and your product feed set up. I have a full free course on how to set up both of these. It's completely free and I'll leave a link down below. Once you've done that, come back here and let's set up our shopping campaigns. Let's get into it. First, let's go to our Google Ads account. To create a new campaign, click the plus icon here and select campaign. On this page, you'll be asked for the goal of your campaign. This is Google's method of providing a guided setup. This is meant to make it easier for new or experienced advertisers. By this point in our free Google Shopping course, you do already know so much more than most advertisers out there. Therefore, I suggest that you choose create a campaign without a goals guidance here. Then let's click continue. Here we see the various campaign types available. We're going to select shopping and continue. Scrolling down, Google now asks us to confirm which goals this campaign will have. Since this is for e-commerce, we want our goal to be set as purchases. Next, we see our Merchant Center account, which is correctly connected to Google Ads. And here, we once again see an option for a Performance Max campaign versus a standard shopping campaign. It may seem confusing because you already selected shopping instead of Performance Max. This is Google nudging you towards the option that benefits Google the most. They do this under the guise of a recommendation. Now, the more that you work with Google Ads, the more that you get nudged like this. I urge you to always carefully consider which is right for you. Don't always blindly go with what Google is pushing for. I recommend any questions in the comments below if you're not sure which choice to make. Okay, let's go back to creating our campaign. Let's confirm that we want standard and click continue. You're now being asked to name your campaign. Honestly, this is mostly personal preference. You can't go wrong as long as it's descriptive enough for you to remember what the campaign is. At minimum, I like to put my initials at the start and then the campaign type. But there's really no right or wrong way to create these titles as long as it works for you. These additional settings are not often used, but we'll cover what they do. Inventory filter is used for limiting which products from your product feed can be used in this campaign. Because you can filter at the ad group level, which I'll be showing you in a moment, this rarely makes sense to do at a campaign level. Local products is for when you also have your products in a physical store location as well. That's beyond the scope of this video, so I'll leave that turned off. Campaign URL options is where you would set parameters that can be appended to your ad links. Again, out of scope for what we're gonna cover here. Next is bidding. We'll cover bid strategies in another video, which I'll link below, so we'll leave it on manual CPC for now to keep it simple. Budget is what you're willing to pay on average per day while this campaign is running for a month. We're not going to worry about campaign priority here. This setting is only useful if you're running an advanced strategy of multiple campaigns targeting the same products. Under targeting, we have networks. We have the option to include or not include Google search partners. In the early stages of account growth, it's always wisest to not include search partners. We want to keep our focus narrow on just Google shoppers for now. For devices, Google no longer offers the option to adjust based on the shopper's device, so there's nothing to change here. For locations, you can of course enter any region that you want this campaign to cover. Anything from countries to states to cities or even zip codes. We're going to leave it here as targeting the United States. There is one important change to make in location options as we open this up. We want to set this to include only presence and not presence or interest. This will firmly keep your ads within the location you're targeting. For start and end dates, you can set the dates your campaign will be active for. I'll just leave it as it is starting today and having no end date. For the ad group name, that's completely up to you. I'll keep the default here. And finally, since we left the setting to manual bids earlier, Google is asking what bid to start applying by default to our products. I'll set that here and click create campaign. Okay, the campaign is now active and we're shown the ad groups within it. This is, of course, just this one that we named earlier. By default, all the eligible products in our feed are included in this ad group. When we hover over this ad group, we see how many products are eligible. We can also see how many are limited in their eligibility due to a policy concern and 
how many Google is not allowing from our product feed because they're disapproved. And that's how we create Google Shopping campaigns in our Google Ads account. After you do this, you're going to need to learn how to segment your products in your Google Shopping campaign. We do this so that we can better target the products and optimize based on the performance of each one. I'll leave a link to our full tutorial on how to do this in your own campaign. Also, this video is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. It's a free course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month in sales. It's completely free. I'll leave a link down below. Also, if you're already generating over 20K per month in sales for your e-commerce store and you want to take it to the next level, my team and I can help. We work every day with e-commerce stores, helping them to scale up to over seven figures with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization. Book a time down below and we'll chat and talk about how we can do this for your store. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.